Vlog number five. We're here. We made it. Five episodes in. So this video is going to be more about the race blade again. Um, the race blade maiden happened last week on vlog number four. It went okay. We had some issues with tuning, and then we um, spent some time tuning this week, and that was good. Um, and uh, and I did mention on the last vlog that I was going to have a, a build video for you guys. I do have that almost done. It's not done yet. Um, I, I kind of just overestimated with how quickly I could get that done. There's just a lot of footage for me to go through. So still got some more work there, um, but it'll be soon. Um, this vlog, though, is going to be about some of the issues I've had with the race blade. So I did fly it um, last week, and unfortunately, it... Uh, it crashed pretty heavily and I sheared off the aluminum bolts. Now the thing about that is I wasn't using the original aluminum bolts, the ones that were included with the frame because those were identified as a root problem um, and were replaced by the company before I had even built mine. I used aluminum bolts that I bought through Fastener Express, pretty good company uh, with really good bolts um, and I sheared those. So it was a pretty big crash. I'm not going to dispute that but definitely still have some, uh, have some work to do there. So this is what the outcome looked like. As you can see, those sheared bolts there, obviously you got the arm free. They just connect through that little aluminum brace there, and luckily I got some of those parts from uh, GetFPV today, so I'm going to replace those today. That'll be good. I'll be able to put it in the air again. Um, I do have some concerns, though, about durability of this frame. So here's the clip. So as you can see, it's a pretty significant crash. I'm not trying to dispute that. Thing is, is I, I know that I'm new at this. I've got some learning to do. I got a lot of training and I got a lot of flying to do. And I know I'm gonna crash. So if the frame's gonna break when I'm doing, you know, normal stuff, I need it, I need it to stay intact. And the, the alien's done a really good job of that. Um, I like the lightweight ability of this race blade, I like it a lot, but I think that if I'm gonna fly a frame as I'm learning, it needs to be really durable. So Hoping that I can give the race blade another chance. Um, I think that there's some changes coming down the line from Get FPV that'll hopefully make it a little better. So I'll buy. I think there's going to be a new bottom frame and then also um, some new uh, accessory parts for the bottom of it that'll actually add some tension to those arms and hopefully keep them on there. So anyways, so we got some stuff to work on there. Um, let's get into the rebuild, get it going, and then we'll move forward. Race blade is ready for the air again. Here it is, ready to go. I didn't mention in the uh, the build video, but I moved the um, the core pro up to the top there. You can see it in the middle. So I've got the current sensor right here, and then right above that is the receiver with the antenna there. Got the Unify Pro coming down to that. The core pro right there. Everything else nice and tight. So there you go, ready to fly again. So anyways, um, see that build video here in the next couple days. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.